I'm Elon Musk. Don't go anywhere. Stay on the Mask Boy YouTube channel. Hello. And look how gorgeous she is. I have a clear case. I got this from Amazon. It was like $9. I had it on like a super sale because it was originally like 60. So I'll link some clear cases from Amazon down below in case you're interested. And I don't know about you, but I'm one of those people that stores all of their tech boxes in a closet or in a box for the longest time possible. So time to add this to the collection. I actually have the 12 Pro Max still. So I might have to give this to my mom since I gave her my old phone, but look how pretty this box is. And this one too, how cool. My first impressions is how amazing this dynamic island is. I can't wait to play around with it in the next 24 hours or so because I know it can do a lot of different capabilities from the face ID to playing music to setting a timer, which I'm really excited to see like how many apps actually interact with the dynamic island. Another thing, it's super speedy. Like the response is so quick, whether I am swiping or if I'm scrolling, it's so much quicker than it was on the previous iPhone. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to be playing on my phone for the next 24 hours and I'm going to come back with a first impressions of like how I feel with the iPhone. I'm going to test out the camera and all of the other features. I'm going to let you know how I like them. So I'll be back tomorrow. It is the next day. I've been using my phone almost 24 hours now and I'm ready to share my first impressions, go through all the new features, tell you how I feel about the phone. Is it worth it? So let's get right on into it. So the first thing that I noticed uh, right off the bat was it was very speedy whenever I would scroll or swipe or just do anything on my phone. I don't know if that's because of the new A16 chip, but um, it's really fast. And it took me a little bit to get used to how fast it would respond to things. The next thing is the Dynamic Island, and it's about time that Apple had some kind of like revolutionary cosmetic feature. I feel like the 13 didn't really have anything, that's why I didn't really upgrade to that. But the Dynamic Island, it's caused up a lot of controversy. I've heard that it's really easy to tell where the sensor and the camera is and what is the cosmetic design on the screen to make it look like the Dynamic Island. For me personally, I use dark mode in every single app that I use, so I don't really notice that difference. It actually kind of blends in with the design on the dark modes for these different apps. So I personally don't really notice a difference. Now, if I held it up in the sunlight, I could definitely see the sensor in the camera, but I feel like that's like a given. Like, of course it's gonna be there. It's not gonna be invisible when the phone is off. So for me personally, I didn't notice like a big old difference. I didn't think it looked tacky or anything. Like when I have my phone on right now and I'm just looking at it, I can maybe see the camera, but everything else looks pretty much invisible. So it's been fun to kind of play around and go on Spotify and set a timer and be on a phone call and stuff and see how the dynamic island works. That's my personal favorite feature and one of the big reasons why I upgraded to this phone. Now another reason why I upgraded this phone was the camera. The camera quality is so good. Coming from a 12 Pro to a 14, this is a major difference. I can definitely see the crispiness and the colors and the brightness and all of the differences on this phone. On the video mode, you can go up to 9x zoom and on photo, you can go to 15x zoom. And let me tell you, it gets really, really up close and really detailed. But that's a big reason why I got it. I take photos, I take videos, I vlog a lot on my iPhone. So it's really cool to have an upgraded phone 
phone. I feel like the 12 Pro, it was like great already. This was just a huge step up. So I really enjoyed, again, playing around with it. I was literally in my bedroom, like zooming into things and like zooming out and just testing out the overall camera. Tonight, I'm actually going for a walk. So I'll definitely put up some footage here of like what it looks like in low light conditions and how much detail it picks up in the low light mode. The other thing that's really cool is in video, there is an action mode feature. So if you're holding the phone running and jumping or whatever, the camera will actually stabilize that footage. So it's a lot easier to look at when you're reviewing that footage, which is really awesome. So love the stabilization feature. Again, I will be testing that out. Because we have a really good camera, the app's kind of updated to make the camera quality better. And I definitely noticed that Snapchat made the camera quality better. And you can definitely notice, and my photos are a lot crispier. I feel like I never want to use Snapchat again, to be honest. <laughs> it's very crispy, it's very detailed. And sometimes you want those good detail shots, but not when you're snapping your friends. Like, I want it to be worse quality, you know? And on Instagram, it looks pretty much the same as the phone I had previously so no big deal the camera quality on Instagram is already pretty great so that was really fine by me the next thing is the overall size of this phone now again coming from a 12 Pro Max I already had a bigger size phone and now I have a 14 Pro Max so for me personally like the thickness and like the screen size and the overall feel of this phone really doesn't feel too different for me I already feel like comfortable like throwing this phone around and stuff because it feels familiar for me now if you're coming from a smaller size Size, you're definitely going to feel this one. Well, let me rephrase that. If you already have a smaller phone screen, you're definitely going to see and feel the difference of this one. Just because it's a lot bigger, it's definitely gonna feel bulkier, it feels like a brick, but honestly, I am always for the bigger phones. I don't think they changed the screen size um, compared to the 12 Pro Max, but for overall size and feel, feels great for me. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna edit that segment. <laughs> Another cool thing about the Pro Phones is that it has the always on display feature, which I immediately turned off. When I first had my phone, I turned off my phone and I left it on the desk. I was like, wait, did I turn off the phone? And it was just really weird and I wasn't used to it, so I immediately turned it off. I know there's a lot of like back and forth about the battery in the new phone. And Apple has said that the always on display won't mess with the battery, but there's a lot of controversy about the battery on the new phone because they didn't upgrade the battery. But I will say if your battery health on your old phone is like less than 90%, maybe like in the lower 80s, you definitely will notice the battery life is a lot better because you have a newer battery. However, if you've just had the 13 and your battery health is pretty fine, then you probably won't notice a difference. And last but not least, the last feature that is on this new phone is the emergency SOS and crash detection feature. Now, I am not testing that out but it is nice to know that if I'm in an emergency situation I can get help right away or if I'm in a car crash I can get help right away so that's good to have and I'm not gonna test it out that's that <laughs> so is it worth getting the new iPhone right now for me personally I think it's worth it because I'm always about the new features and I also take photos and take videos for a living pretty much. I'm a content creator. So the camera for me, it was worth it alone. And the overall new phone and dynamic island, those are nice as well. So for me, I think it's worth it. Now, if you have a 13, then it probably isn't worth going to the 14 unless you want to have that dynamic island feature and the crash detection and the smaller, newer features. If you're all about that as well, I definitely think you should upgrade. Or if you have a significantly old phone, maybe you have the iPhone 10 or the 11 and you're looking for an upgrade, I would definitely say it is worth the upgrade. However, if you do have a newer phone like the 13 and you're not jumping to get the 14, I'm not saying to hop on it. I would just honestly wait for the 15 or whatever the new phone is called if you have the 13. But I feel like if you have any older phones, definitely is the time to upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this iPhone 14 unboxing and review. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, I'm not a tech YouTuber at all. However, I I do like unboxings and I love Apple, so I love just sharing my honest thoughts about things. I share all things content creation and show you my everyday life through vlogs on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you want, follow my social medias, link down below. Again, I share my everyday life on there. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.